Hey beautiful people, hola mi gente, what's up, que bola? It is October 31st, 2023. We're going to be doing a card of the day, a focus of intention for the next 24 to 96 hours as directed by spirit, universe, or whatever higher power you call upon. My job is to not push a belief system onto you. My job is to teach you how to believe in yourself and you connect whatever you want because that's none of my fucking business. With that being said, the Almighty Pineapple LLC is trademark, copyrighted, and registered with three different classifications with the United States Trademark and Patents Office. Any duplication of my content without my permission is subject to legal recourse as guided by my legal team. With that being said, let's get into the card of the day. Um, so, the card of the day is going to become ooh, upside down. Since the veil is very thin today, we're going to be going in with the Ancestor Spirit Oracle card deck. Um, just a couple of things. Remember, we are still in September shedding season from September 1st to December 31st. We're letting things fall away just like the season of fall. Uh, letting things fall away that no longer serve our highest good for the next for the next several months, but retaining from the last eight months and even beyond. Okay. Second. Let me make sure all my things are on do not disturb, right? Because you don't want to get a phone call while you're trying to do a video. It's kind of rude. Anyway, um, eleven eleven portal is coming up, and again, it's a powerful day in numerology, and we can manifest things in a really great way. But on eleven eleven, I am also offering a community reading. It is the November community reading. It is thirty dollars per person to join, and if you're members of I Am the Altar, the private Facebook membership, this is automatically included in part of your membership. So it's not mandatory to come, but I would love to see you all there because it is part of your membership. Also, for those of you who want to check me out before investing in a one-on-one -on -one session with me, either a half-hour session or an hour session or even a two-hour session, this is a great place to check me out to see if my energy actually resonates with yours. This is a group community reading held on a Zoom platform. It will not be recorded. I repeat, it will not be recorded due to privacy issues. But just to let you know and just to put it out there, what usually happens is nine times out of 10, if somebody asks a question and the answer that I give them also can apply to you in some other area of your life. You can have a specific question that you wanna ask or you can always just say, whatever the universe or what spirit wants to tell me. If a Zoom community reading is not comfortable for you, you don't actually have to ask anything. You can just observe if you like. Again, it's $30 to join. Or if you want something more intimate, I do have one card questions. It's located on the website, thealmightypineapple.com under the spirit element page. Or I also do candle readings. I'm actually doing one behind me right now, that candle right there. I actually know how to read the candle, the glass, the wax, and the flame. And I also break that down. That's also located either on the fire element page or on the spirit element page. I have different categories now on the website and they all go by element. So feel free to go to the website. We have over 300 products available online, products and services, and I would love to work with you. But as always, please follow that intuition working with any spiritual advisor, even if that means you do not work with me. So let's get into this. What do we need for today? For Samhain, Halloween, the Little Muertos. What do we need for the collective today? What do we need to focus on for the card of the day, October 31st, 2023? There we go. The card of the day is called Begin Writing Now. It means create, express, and inspire. And let's see what we have to say. What, what, let's see what the ancestors are telling us today. Da, da, da. Okay, so it says, 
Inscriptions in Elder Food Hark are the only surviving remnants of the language spoken by Germanic tribes early in the Common Era. This runic alphabet was used on stones, weapons, jewelry, and other items with the earliest of these inscriptions dating as far back as the second century. The people of Scandinavia had a strong oral tradition in which long passages of history and other important information was passed down using stories and poetries. By the Middle Ages, Scandinavia has developed new boundaries and the language had evolved into distinct dialects such as Danish and Swedish. The written language was influenced by the Roman alphabet, although the use of the runic alphabet did continue in the earliest recorded piece of Danish literature, Gesta Danorum, The Deeds of the Danes by Saxo Grammaticus was published in approximately 1200 CE. And in the tradition of the region's storytelling and poetry, it told the story of the first Danish kings from prehistory to the time it was written. In the early 1700s, Ludwig Holberg penned plays, comedies, and works about history and philosophy. Holberg's most famous comedy, Hepe Pad Bijert, is still performed nearly 300 years on. The Ancestors Speak. Writing is a way to capture ideas, plans, dreams, and memories, as well as stories and history. It can also be very therapeutic. You do not need to study or have any special tools to start writing. Put pen to paper and see what happens. Write for yourself and as your creative talents are freed for others too. The divinatory meaning, it says, you may have a talent for writing and expressing yourself. You may like to share your gift with others by having your writing published or to keep a journal just for yourself. It doesn't matter that what you write, it matters that you start writing and get your thoughts down. Write anything that pops into your head because writing is a healing experience that helps you process things in your life. It can also help you inspire others. And this is something that I actually, I actually love talking about with my clients, usually during readings, right? The problem is that we've been so used to having our devices, right? And there's nothing wrong with having devices, but are you using the device to the best of your ability? Don't let the device run you, you run the device, right? For example, we have an addiction of waking up in the morning before we actually get out of bed or brushing our teeth, we are automatically grabbing the phone and scrolling instead of just being grateful for being alive another day. What would you do if you did not have a device? Because I grew up in a culture that we didn't have devices. We started getting those devices, we actually had beepers and pagers and those big blocks of cellular phones. Now, if devices weren't available, I don't think my children can handle it. So again, like what would you do if you didn't have a device? Would you be able to have the time to pray and meditate? Would you be able to have the time to journal your thoughts? Would you be able to have the time to unleash any heaviness from your chest or from your mind or from your spirit about something that happened to you today or something that happened to you yesterday or something that traumatic that you've been holding on to you're just, and you just don't feel safe in talking to other people about it? Because I always tell people, even though I think therapy is great, it doesn't work for everybody and I know that, but I think also even with when you go to therapy sometimes it takes a very long very 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 long time to be very comfortable with your therapist and telling them everything that you're experiencing feeling and going through because even as humans we tend to hide just a little bit of who we really are because we're afraid of what our therapists or what our counselors or our coaches or our, you know our pract practitioners or advisors would think of us i actually and i say this all the time i actually don't give two shits about what it is that you've done all i care about is why did you come see me and how can i help you so we can get you through the next phase of life that's what i do and a long time ago somebody called me a soul coach and it stuck and i've actually had articles written where they actually claim that i am a soul coach and again these titles were given to me by the community and certain titles i've received were done by initiations and my own education status but Again, a lot of these things that I've accomplished is because I've written things down and I've gotten to the root of my own individual problems by getting it out of my body. Sometimes things stay stuck in your physical body and your cellular memory and it keeps replaying in your mind. You keep feeling things in your body. You keep doubting your intuition. You keep questioning your life. You keep wondering about your purpose. Well, get a pen and paper and actually start, and this is a suggestion that I tell all my clients when they do a reading with me, especially if you're new with me, start writing down what you're grateful for. For the next 30 days, I ask all of you who watch my video, even the snippets, I would love for y'all to subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Almighty Pineapple LLC, but for the next 30 days, could you write three things that you're grateful for every day, and then let me know either by email or commenting on one of my YouTube videos? I would love that. Start 
writing down what you're grateful for because the more you focus on what you do have, the more you multiply on that. The more you talk about or think about or even write about the things that you don't have, the more you attract. Again, what you put out is what you attract. And I hope this helps. I hope this puts some things in perspective and I hope it made you feel better. So for today, October 31st, the ancestors are telling us to begin writing now. Bye.